Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. We're going to get into some NBA action for February the uh, 26th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools here to help you make your picks. So we have a light schedule for the, the 26th, just four games on tap. But, you know, now that the All-Star break is over, uh, teams are looking to play well to, uh, you know, make a playoff push, which is coming up in the next couple of months. So let's take a look at some of these games. The Toronto Raptors at the Indiana Pacers. You can see Toronto comes in average status 3-3 three three over the last six, while Indiana is burning hot, a two-game winning streak in 4-2 and two over their last six. If you look at here at the over-under, the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the line. Um, well, actually a little bit more even if you take a look at that. I mean, Indiana, three out of the last six over. Toronto, four out of the last six under. So it's actually pretty close. A little bit more over the line for Indiana as far as that goes. Um, if you look at the score prediction, Indiana is favored to win this one with a predicted score of 124 to 112. 69% level of confidence in that prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Indiana on the upward trend, you can see they are now at plus 19, while Toronto is down here at plus 7. Indiana is sixth in the Eastern Conference. Toronto's on the outside of the playoff picture looking in at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, interestingly enough, this season, both teams have won a game, but both of them have won on the road. Um, if you look at the uh, stability factor, you can see that Toronto is much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 16 compared to plus 5. Indiana is very good at home, 18 and 11, but Toronto is only 8 and 20 on the road. That's going to be a, play a big part here. I don't think Toronto has it on the road. I like Indiana in this one, maybe even by double digits, but I'm going to pass on the over under bet. Detroit and the New York Knicks. Detroit is ice cold down after four straight losses. They have only eight wins on the season. Uh, New York is coming off of a win, uh, halting a four-game losing streak, and they are ice cold up. If you look at the over-under, Detroit under in the last four games, and New York over in four out of the last six, under in two out of the last three. The score prediction here, 113-113, obviously a game can't end in a tie, but um, conference in the prediction is only 34%, so you can kind of ignore that for now. I Take a look at this closer and closer to game time. But uh, the power X indicator, you can see, New York was at plus 25. They had dipped considerably since then, but they're at plus 12 compared to plus 2 for Detroit. Head-to-head -head wise, New York won the previous meeting between the teams this season by six points at home back on November the 30th. If you look at the stability factor, you can see here that Detroit is much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, although New York is pretty stable as well at plus 22. Both teams on a pretty much continuously upward trend from the beginning of the season. In the end, I don't think there's really much of a chance for Detroit in this one. I like the Knicks uh, by double digits in a high-scoring game over the line. Brooklyn and Memphis. Here's two teams that are really heading nowhere. Brooklyn um, loses over their last three in dead stats. Memphis has won their last two, average up, but both teams are far on the outside of the playoff picture looking in at this point. Um, you can see the uh, over-under the the Nets are under in five out of the last six. Memphis has been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six, so trending on opposite sides of the line there. Um, you can see Memphis in the score prediction, 115 to 108. Conference in the prediction is at 68%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Memphis is at plus nine, while Brooklyn is at plus four. Um, head to head wise, the teams have not yet met this season, so we can't really take a look at that as far as making our prediction. If we take a look here at the uh, volatility oscillator, we can see here that Brooklyn is plus 21, more stable than Memphis. Memphis is at plus 12, and they were at a high of plus 14 just uh, earlier this month, and they have not been very consistent uh, since then. In the end, though, I like Memphis in this one. They're at home. Let's go with Memphis, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet on this one. And the last game we want to look at, which is probably the best game of the day, like I said, in a light schedule of just four games, uh, Miami and Sacramento. You can see that both teams coming in burning hot. Miami 4-2 and two over the last six. Sacramento 3-3 three and three over the last six. The over-under is clearly on opposite sides of the line here. Miami, in the last four games involving games under the line, 
um, Sacramento five out of the last six over the line. The score prediction of 121 to 110 in favor of Sacramento would be over the line, uh, 231. The line has not yet been set, but almost guaranteed that would be an over the line score with confidence in the prediction of 49%. The two teams met once this year back at the end of January, and that was a Miami win by nine points at home. The power ranks indicate you see both teams are on the upward trend and very, very, uh, you know, almost the same, 23 for Miami and 22 for Sacramento. And if you look at the um, Miami is uh, 15 to 13 on the road, which is very solid. Um, so that's a consideration that they could perhaps pull off an upset. And in fact, I do like Miami to win this one on the road. Um, but I think it's going to be a very uh, tight scoring game, three points for us, maybe even into overtime. And because of the chance of going into overtime, I think this is going to be a higher scoring game and over the line. So there you have it. Those are the four games for the NBA for February the 26th. Happy betting and see you again next time.